The Golden Eagles of Southern Mississippi have a program that's built on the rock. That's what they call M.M. Roberts Stadium in today's Southern Miss in hopes of getting an important home victory. It's time for ESPN College Football. Ought to be a great one tonight. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet will have the call. What's up, guys? Children's up there with my Dynasty Series this week. We're taking on the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. And last week we got beat, making it... Make it so we're not bowl eligible. So we're two and seven right now. We can't make a bowl game, or what? what maybe we're two and eight because we've only got this in one other game. Or I don't know what our record is. Something like that. But all I know is that we are not bowl eligible. And so going into these games, you know, we're our mindset's not where it needs to be. You know, we're kind of sulking. We, you know, we're just a little bit disappointed in our team, our effort that we put in this year. And, of course, we're going to be sulking a little bit. So, really, our head ha hasn't been where it needs to be this week in practice. And, you know, we're playing, kind of playing a tough team, the former Conference USA champions. So, really, we got to come out with our heads on, our heads screwed on tight, and we better come ready to play because Southern Miss is going to come playing our two. Anyway, we're diving into it. Southern Miss on their first drive. We pick up a field goal. So, we got we got to one-up them. We get this win here. That's huge for us. You know, we can't make a bowl game, but we can still win games, which should be great. All right, first and ten now. Dropping back. Nicola Mason under pressure, scrambling around, picking up the first down. Dropping back, looking. Nick scrambling again. He he was one of those believers that the world was going to end. You know, it didn't, so he's got to play his game. He's got to play it. All right, first and ten. This is Dowell. Dowell's going to pick up the first down. If you Bell was injured earlier this year, actually, I think it was almost, maybe even last game, he was injured to the point where he's done for the rest of the season. So now it's Jeffrey and Dowell as my running backs right now. Anyway, LeMason dropping, rolling, and throwing that one, overthrowing anybody. Third down and ten, we're having this one off to Jeffrey. Jeffrey's going to pick up a yard. We got a field goal, but Southern Miss would one-up us and score a touchdown. They're up by a touchdown. Dropping back, LeMason's going to get sacked and fun. But Thornton picks it up and returns it inside the five. Southern Miss would score with ease, 17-3. to We're going deep. We got a man, too. It's Leslie, and Leslie's going to get inside the 20-yard line. Where to go? All right, first down and 10 from inside the 20. We are looking end zone. Freytag drops it in the end zone. Drops an easy touchdown. Jeffrey on the handoff. Not going to pick up anything. Third down and ten. Here we go. Let's get in here. Let's get in there, boys. Throwing it. Oh, my gosh. Intercepted. Well, at least somebody can score a touchdown. Southern Miss having no trouble whatsoever. We're going deep. And we got Freytag. And Freytag drops another one. That would have gone for a touchdown also, I firmly believe. We're giving him a second chance. Freytag, what are you doing? Are you serious? He's dropping that's three potential touchdowns in a row that he's dropped. Third down and ten. We're just throwing a pick. We can't hit Freytag because he can't catch. And so we're trying different receivers, and he was in double coverage. Getting intercepted. Southern miss, 31-3, to and it's not even half time yet. This is ugly, but you know we nah, we know where we need to be with our offense next season. That's for sure. Leslie coming up with a big grab inside the 30-yard line, picking up the first down. All right, dropping back is Nick Mason. We need to get in the end zone this drive. Hit, and he's gonna fumble it after some diving around and flopping around. Is picked up by UTEP. Miners retaining the ball. Second down and 19. We've got to get something going. LeMason underneath to Jeffrey. Jeffrey's going to pick up a solid seven yards. 40 seconds left in the half. Dropping back, looking on the post, overthrowing my man. Fourth and 12, and we're going to go for it. There's no reason not to go for it. And we're throwing it to the post, man. It's going to be incomplete. Turnover on downs, and Southern Miss would score again. 38-3. to They are having no trouble whatsoever. Leslie there, picking up the first down, though. 
Here we go, dropping back. We want to go deep. And we got Leslie deep, and Leslie's going to get in the end zone. We probably won't win this game, but we're still fighting fairly hard. Getting in the end zone, 41-10. to 10. USM Southern Miss scoring like a machine. Going deep to Freytag. He finally catches one, and he's going to score. About time. Should have happened three other times before that, too. Man, if he has those touchdowns, it's like a three-point ball game if he doesn't drop all those open passes. Man, now you think about it, it's a little bit depressing. That's depressing, too. My team, Boise State, getting beat by Colorado State. I doubt that'll happen anytime in the near future, but it happened here. Dropping back, going deep, and look at that intercepted again. You know, this has just not been our game. Not been our game. And sometimes that happens, you know. Our team, you know, like I said, our heads were not in it this week. And you can definitely tell. You can definitely tell. That's two plays in a row that Robinson's gotten a pick. And he's going to get a big return on it, too. And we're down 48-17. to 17. Make it 55-17. Because they missed the extra point. Maybe they went for two just to run up the score. Edwards on the quick slant. It's the first time we've hit him this game. And we're almost to the end of the third quarter. 55-17. There we go. We got Prey Tag on the post. He's picking up some good yards there. First down. Clapping his hands. Don't know why he's so excited. We're down by a lot of points. Almost 40. To be exact, 38 points. But Leslie making a nice over-the-shoulder grab for the touchdown. Leslie is still playing pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Defense actually stopped him. So, I mean, it's a miracle in itself. So we got the ball back with an opportunity to make this like a 24-point ball game. And we're sat. They're down to 19. All right, boys. What are we going to do? We're throwing it deep. How else are we going to get 19 yards unless somebody can get open? And we got single coverage. Freytag with a huge catch. First and 10 inside the 20-yard line. I like that. And we got trail inside. For the touchdown, give it to me, 55-31, to 24-point ball game. And all of a sudden, we're right back into this. <laughs> no, we're not. We're overthrowing my man there, making it second down and 10. Usually when you're this far in your own territory and you throw it deep, someone's open because the defense will bring a lot of pressure. And so there's usually a guy that can get behind the secondary. But, you know, and right there... There it is, and we overthrow him. We overthrow him on third down and 10. We would punt. Southern Miss would score, 62-31. to 31. Leslie gets open, though, and he's got to beat some He's got one man to beat, can't do it. First and goal, minute 14 left in the game. We're down by 31. There's no chance that we win this game, but we can get in the end zone here, and it'd be great. Getting sacked there, though. And LeMason, if you didn't see it, was injured right there. So you've got Megger in. Second down and goal. Megger dropping back. In the end zone to Patterson for the touchdown. I think next I think that LeMason's a senior, so next year we get Megger in. He looks like he's got some shines some signs of greatness in him. Alright. Not a very impressive game for anybody except for Southern Miss. If you're a Southern Miss fan, congratulations. You just smoked the UTEP. Sixty two to thirty eight. Alright guys, thanks for watching this, you know, I know it was a tough loss, and you might be getting bored of seeing me lose, you see there he's skating on some ice there, you know, he's hired to be seeing me lose, but you know, it's a, with a team like this, it's a process, and so, you know, it'll only get better, anyway, I'm going to try to have this next video, I want to start the second season of my Road to Glory and Dynasty by Christmas, so look for the other Dynasty video coming out fairly soon, we're taking on Rice next week. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you come back for the next video and you keep following this series because it's going to get better. I promise you. Ryan Megger there. A little bit sad that we lost. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys.